Hello everyone, this is Dial20 and welcome to episode 17 of Dial20's Let's Play of FTB Sky's Expert Mode. Uh, today, I would like to start working towards our Coke Oven and Blast Brick. Uh, so these two machines are going to be pivotal to our next set of major progressions. So if we take a look here, um, there's basically three paths that we have to work down to get to the mana pool. Uh, path one being getting iron. We kind of did that already, so that's cool. We're good, right? Um, we have to get steel, though, um, and in order to get steel, we're going to need blast bricks. And in order to get blast bricks, we're going to need coke bricks, uh, and that's pretty much where we're at right now. Uh, the, the third path here will be white rock, leading to Batania and elemental craft, which will be pretty neat. Um, so that'll be the plan for uh, progressing towards the mana pool, which will get us out of the first chapter, which I think is pretty cool. And, you know, looking back on the last few episodes, I will say that thus far, I've found that this pack is definitely very fun to play and not at all grindy. Um, one of the traps that expert mode packs frequently get into is like that grind mechanic where you're like, I gotta like spend a large amount of time like doing the same thing over and over again or like tedious work. Like thus far, everything has been pretty solid. Um, really like not painful or annoying at all so i think that's kind of cool i think that's really good um you can see some some additions here uh courtesy of uh some some changes to the quest so i've been updating the pack as we go i'm on currently i'm on beta 14. i think when i started it was like i don't know beta 5 or 6 or something like that so there's been quite a few updates since we started the pack so let's get going shall we um some changes today actually impact us directly um, so we need to make our deployer. Uh, last episode or two, when we looked at this, we realized that Coke bricks uh, require fire essence, which should be pretty straightforward. Um, we need to get 20 of these. If you look at the quest here, you'll notice that um, we need 20 Coke bricks. And uh, in total, we need 27 to build the multi-block structure, but we'll get seven as a reward. So make 20, get seven as a reward. And that's the same for blast bricks, by the way. Um, so, you know, keep keep that in mind. Uh, it's it's not too bad. Should I make a new island for this? Or should I use one of my existing ones? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, maybe I'll use uh, something over here-ish. That seems kind of cool. I could probably borrow over here, yeah? Does that sound, sound like a plan? Uh, yeah. So what I first need to do, though, in order to get um, my deployers is I need to get electron tubes. And you might say, die, you already made electron tubes. Ha <laughs> ha, recipes have changed. So previously polished quartz, um, you could make with rose quartz and sandpaper by hand, still the case. Uh, however, rose quartz can only be made in the metallurgic infuser now from mechanism by infusing red zone into quartz. That said, uh, the things that you normally use rose quartz for uh, are, are, are mostly not a big deal anymore because you can get them in another way specifically electron tubes. Uh, so redstone glass and iron plates. Redstone glass is a symbol combination of glass and a piece of redstone. So technically this is cheaper um, because previously it was like eight pieces of redstone to get, uh, and now it's like two. So definitely a cheaper recipe, but we're gonna need the alloy kiln. Uh, so for that, I've gone ahead in advance and crafted some. It's a simple process of mixing any brick with any sandstone. Uh, so I figured I would do that off camera and save us all the trouble of having to watch me do it. Bing, bang, boom. And then we need the hammer from uh, Immersive. There we go. I will need some iron though. What I will say is sometimes um, you'll notice that the screen doesn't update. So like I'll take out a stack. It looks like there's still 68 in there, but there's really only four. So like when I take, and then if you update, you'll see it changes. So just be aware of that one little nuance with the occultism screen. I don't know if that's a, if that's just overall occultism bug or a pack specific issue, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, yep, aside from that, my my, my wireless uh, access stuff to, to resources is going really well. Um, if you look, I've got 278 stacks in use out of 640 possible stacks that can be stored in there. So I'm not even like halfway full on the different types of stacks. And as a reminder, each stack can go up to like a thousand. So that's kind of cool. So we've got, we've got kind of plenty of storage. So I did move all my storage into there, obviously with the exception of, uh, like my cobble and all that, that's still going to be in the drawer system. I don't know if there's like a good way to to make it so that you can access that, but I'll look into it at some point. 
For now, it's not a big deal. Cool. So now I should be able to make my immersive hammer. Sweet. Hammer. Time to go. All right, so charcoal is gonna go in here, uh, and then we're gonna just take uh, some glass. Let's get a few of these. I think it's only when you're searching that the, see like that definitely updated, right? It's only when you search for something that the numbers don't play out. So just be aware, right? And then you look and it's fine. So these guys and go, nice. All right, that looks good. While we're here, I guess it uh, wouldn't be a terrible idea to... Hey, baby skeletons. They're so fast and tiny and hard to hit. I'm sure at some point I'll be able to automate all this stuff, right? Presumably. Oh man, it is kind of nice not having to worry about that whole thing no more. Is... Hey, spider eyes, that's good. Hey look, this thing's actually spawning stuff now. Remember remember before when it like wasn't? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Alright, how are you making out? Hey, redstone glass. Cool. Which means I should have no problem doing this. So one, two, three. Beautiful. Uh, and then it's just going to be a simple matter of making my deployer, um, which I'm going to put these things away. I'm going to get out some oak wood and some andesite casings. Oh, it's so nice having having this stuff here ready to go. Oh man, it's so it's so good. Okay, and then you guys go there, and boom, three deployers. Nice. Quest completed deployer. Looking good. Where was that quest hanging out at? Not Monster Hunter, but Skeletons. But with all this experience I have, I should probably store it before I die. Where was the quest complete for deployer? There a deployer quest somewhere that I just like didn't notice? Am I crazy? Well, there's no reward. It might be in the create chapter or something like that. Deployer? Is there a deployer in here? There is. Oh yes, and there's no rewards, so that's why. Cool. Okay. I was like, why is there a quest but there's no red exclamation point? Okay, so now we've got to get uh, coke bricks, right? So for this, um, we're gonna need 20 fire essences. Now, luckily those aren't too bad. In an imbuement chamber, um, if we have a powerful fire shard, good. We're gonna use two of those and two of these. And what'll happen is that should get me my fire essence, right? Cause uh, if we do this, we'll get nine fire essences. Cool, so that'll be 18. Remember, I need a total of 20, okay? So now for Coke Bricks, uh, the recipe sequence is going to be uh, any sand, any clay, uh, and ash bricks. So sandstone shouldn't be too big of a problem. I'm gonna get one, two, three, four, and then that. So what we're going to need is 20 of those, and then 20 clay, uh, for our stuff and then we need ash bricks. So I haven't really super looked into this yet, but we need ash uh, To be stamped into ash bricks and ash comes from uh, We can blast uh, Oak and that gets me three ash. That's not a big deal. That's easy to do That's easy to do. So that would be um, If I did that that would be 32 ash, right? Or was it uh, 3x? I think it's 3x. That would be 48 ash Yes, 48 ash. And then that would be, uh, yeah, 24. So that should be cool. Did I leave you running? I did, bad direwolf. Don't forget to turn your machines off, dudes. Now this is stamping into there with a heater. So we're gonna move you guys. 
gonna make sure that you're angled the right direction this time. Good, good, good. Okay, you've got the ash going. You're gonna go in there. Nope, don't do that. Don't do that. You need to be heated. A visiting villager. Nice. Alright, so now. Now, nope. Block of ash. Nope, stop doing that. Don't do that. Ash brick. Two ash goes in there. So here's what I'm gonna do. You ready? One, two. That'll make the ash brick. And then we can do that. And that'll make sure to only make ash bricks. Cool. Where'd that villager show up? There he is. Hello, friend. Remember, you can shift right click villagers and store them as items. So that's your ash bricks. So that's cool. Now I just need to set up the deployer and all that good stuff. Oh, you're not done yet. Hang on, 33%. Well, you guys take a while, huh? I thought you'd be done by now. Ugh, centipedes. All right, you're with me. Cool. Life's good. I didn't leave the door open, did I? I don't think so. Hate these centipedes. I mean, they're really cool looking. I gotta give, you know, credit where credit is due. Stop hiding from me, centipede tail. Did I get him? Is he dead? I think he's dead. Nice. Okay, you... And you got a little fire shard for that. Cool. Actually, no, those fire shards were needed for crafting in a minute. One, two. All right, let me come back when the fire shard crafting is done. And I'm also going to uh, get ready... To do my uh, my my stampy thing with the deployers and whatnot. Uh, for that, we're going. Well, you know what? I can just build it now. I don't need to come back, right? Uh, create. Don't I have a create belt somewhere? Might be. Ah, oh, it's in here. Okay. Yep, that's where I've been hiding it. Nice. So for you, my good sir, uh, maybe we run this. Where do I want to run this? There's a couple places we could run it, obviously. Kind of want to, you know what I'm going to do? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to fill this whole platform in so this can be like giant create area. You know, we know we need lots of create space, right? That's just not, that's not an uncommon thing. So if I had like, if I had like you, if I wanted a couple more of these. Right, we could do like you to you, um, and then we could have our deployers. Would that be facing the right direction? No. Would that be facing the right direction? Yes. Cool. And then what we could do, what is it like click or left click or... Yeah, there's, there's a way to do that without breaking all the belts. I just have to go look into what it is. So that would be cool, right? And then all we really need would be my gears. Aha! 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 Right? Um, and you could come up here and just gearbox it. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So you need to have more of these. I have my axe. Saw thingy. Okay. Um, so you...
and then gearbox. Not terrible. That should do. A few gearboxes won't go awry for me. You know, dire. Yep, okay, I expected that. But if I do that, are we gonna be cool? No. Really? Your game, 256 stress units at current. Really? You shouldn't be gumming up the works. Because you're each 256, right? Yes. So why are you gumming up the works? Is it is it you? Here's what I'm gonna do. I've been wanting to get over here in a better way anyway. If I do that, that'll be better, right? Uh, what don't you like? Is it the fans? Uh, it's probably the fans. Probably the fans. Uh, I can solve that. Uh, I can solve this. The solution would be... So what are you? You're just a gearbox doing that, right? Right. So what I could do... Ready for this? We do this to this with a belt. That should be cool. And then we could optionally add gear bot like gears to these guys as needed, right? And that should work. Yep, that works. Beautiful. Uh, except that you're rotating the wrong way. Why are you rotating the wrong way? Explain. Do I need to uh, instead do, well, not that, but this and then this. There we go. That will be going the correct way. Nice. Okay, cool. All right. And then ultimately we would want a chest. And the site funnel. Cool. Okay. And that should work. Then you guys might be done over here. Yes, you are. Nice. And those, I assume, will be faster. About one ninth. Okay. And then to make our coke brick is simply sandstone, then clay, then ash brick, right? So sandstone, clay, ash brick, okay? So easy peasy, we just do that, that, that. And then we do bing, bang, boom. Now that's gonna need to go four times. I forgot that that needs to go four times. So I need four times as much. Don't I? Not terrible, but I do need four times as much. So I need 60 more of each of those, right? Yes. Yes, I do. So 16 more of these. Sixty of these. And ash bricks, we're definitely gonna need some more. So if sixteen got me twenty, right? Thirty-two would get me pretty close to more. So I can just do that again because I already have it. Do that. And then we need to add that guy, right? And then he should be cool. Hopefully, mm, he might be going the wrong way. Is he going the wrong way? Yeah, I think he was. Sorry. Soon, soon, I promise I will fix all this. Um, once we get past stage one, we're going to have access to like way better um, biodiesel production. And then I can turn all this into like a much better system. 
soon. And in fairness, I'm just being a little bit lazy. Um, why did you only turn into 34? Oh, there was the other 64. Okay. Yep, that makes sense. Cool and cool. Um, and then you need to go here. So for that to work, you need to be broken. Cool. All right, let me come back once I get... Basically, I'm going to do the rest of this off camera. Um, because there's there's not a whole lot of excitement to happen now. It's going to be a, like, could I automate it? Yes. But I don't know that there's a huge value in automating it. It's just going to be a lot of work to, to do that. Um, so... Oh, right. You know, yeah. So, like, I can definitely do that, by the way. Like, I don't have to do one at a time. For sure. Right? So, yeah. I'll be back when it's, like, all done. All right. Mission accomplished. We've got uh, some Coke bricks. And what I did uh, briefly here was uh, prep a fluid tank, and I stole my fluid transporters. Um, so, let's see what we can do with these here Coke bricks. Uh, I can make a Coke oven, right? Uh, that would be you. And then in here, we can turn golden power source into coal coke, but it doesn't generate any uh, any creosote oil. Uh, we can turn piles of logs into charcoal bricks. We can turn blocks of coal into blocks of coke, and that'll get us uh, extra creosote oil for that process. It doesn't say how long it takes, but I'm, we'll see. And then coal into coal coke, obviously, the standard, right? Now, now a block of coal will get me a little extra creosote oil, if you're doing the math on that, right? Because a block of coal should be 4,500 millibuckets, but I get 5,000. So I get a little extra by going that route. But I kind of want to try that pile of logs process. What I will probably do is snag a little bit of dirt here and you. Let's just expand this out a little bit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my, um, my coke bricks here, I think. Cool. So then we can come in here. What I'm thinking I might also do is just move this back a little bit. Just to give me a little bit of a wider berth as I'm walking down the pathway, right? So that should be cool. Cool. So coming in here and do that thing, but then I got these guys here ready to do that. That should be cool. All right. So, uh, if I'm going to do this with coal, uh, I'm going to do it like this, right? Uh, and then I just want to try a pile of logs real quick just to see what that looks like. How long does that seem to take? Pretty long. Pretty long. But I should be able to do this, this, and that. And what it'll do... Yeah, you are taking a long time, pile of logs. What are you, what are you all about? Is that like your purpose? Charcoal block. I don't know if this is your purpose. I don't think I'm gonna do this. I think I'm just gonna get, I wanted to just try it to see how it worked out. I don't like how it worked out. So, in fact, I'm just gonna take that pile of logs because I don't want it clogging up my inventory. I'm never gonna use it. It can be voided. Cool. So that'll take a few minutes, right, obviously, to go, but that'll get us some creosote oil. Now, how much exactly do we need for our next step? That uh, is the question. So for the next step, we're going to need uh, the following items. So, so I'm gonna clear these out of my to-dos here. So we've got our coke brick. Uh, what we are going to need is some nether brick and some ever-burning air. Remember, we have to do this four times. So ultimately, we're going to need 80 of each of these. So 80 nether brick, um, that is one eighth. So we need 10 buckets of creosote oil, right? Okay, so 10 buckets of creosote oil. Um, and then 80 ever-burning air, which isn't too bad. Remember, you get 16 per craft, so that's like just four of the air essences. And that doesn't look terrible to me. So let's go, I'm going to let this guy do his thing, and we'll come back uh, to it once I get my ever-burning air. So for ever-burning air, we already have 22. So realistically, all we need is uh, 60 more, right? So that would be... Uh, Actually, we get 48, so I think we have exactly, yeah, no, we should be fine, right? Three, three sets of air, air essence. Is it just air essence, right, that we put in there? Yes, so we just need one tiny air shard. So three of these, really. Um, bing, bang, 
Could I do this and that would work too? Yeah, that's what's up. There we go. That gets me three. And then when I smelt that, I should get 48 and the 22 I have will bring me up to 70. Um, so no, I did math that wrong. I need 60 more than I already have. Yeah. So I need one more air shard. Not a big deal. So you know what I'll do? I'll just, I'll just say forget about you. I'll let you guys cook. Uh, then we need nether bricks. Uh, which is just going to be smelted netherrack or haunted bricks. Cool. Um, or I could just do that. So if I got... Um, so I need this. This many, right? 16? If I go smelt those on my dude over here... Right. I needed you to be a gearbox, didn't I? Yes. Cool. I'll just break that for now. That'll get me the bricks that I need. Uh, then you have a burning air. Then we need magma cubes, right? Or magma, these guys. We need 20 of these. Um, right? So it's going to be 80 of those were good. 80 of those were good. We're waiting on our creosote. And then we need to stamper it, too. Um, which shouldn't be too big of a deal. What I will probably have to do, though is move this over one, right? Isn't there like a thing I do here? Like I, I definitely, there's, there's a, there's a, there we go. That was something. Um, there we go. Hooray, that works. Cool. And then you and then you, and then we'll take you. And hopefully you don't get too grumpy about uh, rotational force and all that. All right, so that's 512, 256, 256. You guys each 256, that actually might be a problem. That might be a problem. We'll see, we'll see, but I suspect that's gonna be a problem for me. I might need one more water wheel, which if I do, I do. It's okay, I can throw another water wheel on there. Not a big deal. Um, so if I were to now remove you and add you, you're gonna be overstressed, right? Yes, because I definitely need one more water wheel. Not too shabby. So another one of these. And then just some andesite casings. We'll get those haunted in a minute. Getting a little low on oak logs. I should probably uh, grow some more trees at some point. Cool. And then water wheels. Boom. So then you're just going to be uh, that, that, that. I can break you. I should be able to do that. And then you can go. Nope. There you go. Nice. Easy peasy. And now everybody's happy. Yep, that'll do. Nice. Okay, cool. Now with that all cooking, how's my creosote looking? And then I need my other two air shards. So you guys turn that stuff into that. How's my creosote? Remember I need 10 buckets of it? Is that what I said? Well, uh, we'll be waiting a few minutes. So basically I need two of these operations, right? Um, and that'll get me some cold coke, which I'm sure I can use at some point in the future for some other stuff too. But we're just gonna have to 
wait for that, I think. Um, these guys can definitely do this. The other two might even be done by now. And then over here, I can get my bricks. Beautiful. What I also want to do while I'm thinking about it is I would like to remember that this goes here. And I'm going to add gearboxes to my backpack of, of goodies. Cool. Yeah, I like that. You guys are getting close, but not quite. Good. You can be done. Yeah, my only thing that I hate about the Coke oven is how slow it is. Like, it's really slow. But lucky for you guys, you don't have to wait for that. So let's come back. Uh, what I'll do is I'll come back in a moment and uh, I will have these things all completed and then we'll start on our I'm going to get the magma bricks off camera too, because uh, you guys have seen me make those before, right? Um, those are just, uh, I can turn stone and fire essence, so that'll be easy. Yeah, I can definitely, I can do this now, so not a problem. So, back in a minute. You know, in hindsight, I don't think I needed the extra water wheel, because I didn't need the, the middle line is not a placer, it's a fluid hopper, isn't it? Uh, technically correct. So probably did not need to add that water wheel. But also, it doesn't. It's not the end. It doesn't hurt, right? All right, so then we should be cool on that. So we need 16 of these. Okay, so let's just recap. We've got 16. We got six of that. That looks cool. Okay. Um, and then we've got the 20 magma bricks, which was easy peasy. This thing, I think, is done with its first set, or it should be very close. Super close. Almost there. You can do it. I want to kind of like see it go. Uh, I was trying to catch this on camera for you guys. Uh, we'll see if it works out. I don't know. Maybe. Come on, dude. You can do it. Where is that fire sound coming from? Is there fire near here that I don't know about? Come on, I thought this would be done by now. So slow. Hey, there we go. Nice, got it. All right, so we've got our first block of Coke, which is good. Uh, and then we've got, uh, that should be five buckets of creosote. So I'll get two of them for now. Three remain. That'll fill up the tank and then the next one will run. Cool. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get the first batch of this going. Okay. So I just do that and that, right? And then you've got some creosote oil in there and you've got an extra bucket. And then I only need to do, right? So we're going to get you and you. So just a reminder, blast bricks is nether brick, then oil, then ever burning air. So nether brick, then oil, then ever burning air. So that if I were to do this and then I do this this is what I did last time by the way um, you can drop the whole stack on there at once and it'll just it'll just go and it goes very well cool not bad sure is a roundabout way to get over there isn't it So that gets us about halfway done, if I'm not mistaken, right? So that, yes. Um, so then we drop the next stack in, and it's not going because... Explain that to me, sir. That actually should have worked. What? If 
process and press. Did you not get pressed? Next, deploy ever burning air. Deploy ever burning air. Oh, because you don't have uh, rotational in this. You're not getting rotated. Yeah, you ain't spinning, are you? <laughs> that uh, that actually does make perfect sense. Hold on. Uh, do I have any more cogs? I do. Good. So you would need a gearbox here and here. Hey, now we're cooking. Haha. <laughs> That's what's up. Okay. Uh, that just. Uh, anyway. It's messy, but it's pretty temp. Like, I, think, I, I think I only ever have to do this like once, probably, right? So it's a little messy, but it's temporary. So here's what we're going to do we're going to wrap up the episode here. We're going to come back next time. Uh, when we get back next time, uh, I will be able to do. Um, I will have this all done. And then we'll have completed the blast brick we'll get ourselves some soul steel and then probably start working on this path of things cool uh so for now wrapping up point Daryl 20 signing off hope you guys enjoyed the episode uh we can come back next time at this point and uh have some more fun uh with with this expert pack which because i'm having a good time and i hope you guys are too all right for now take it easy <laughs>